what is up guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is gina janine and i focus on lifestyle beauty vlogs clothing hauls all that jazz so this portion of today's video is sponsored by wigs gal y'all already know how it goes i gotta get my coins at the beginning of every video that's just how it is this is how your wig comes packaged um, you do get a nice satin carrying bag and it does have the company logo on the front. It has a drawstring and then you get your wig in a plastic bag as well. This is the first time I want to say that I received a wig from a company that it did not come in a box. But that's okay because I always use the satin bag and this bag for storage. So I'm bringing you guys a, a lace frontal wig. So it's frontal, goes from ear to ear. And all of the details of this wig will be down below in the description box, the length, the direct link, everything. So I'm about to apply this and y'all wanna see how it looks. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so this is the final look. I did have a little bit of issues trying to hold down the edges. That's just because my head is so big. I should have got this wig cap in a size large, but it's all good. It worked out. So it is just glued down with the got to be spray, as you guys saw, and then I put an elastic band around. I did cut extra layers in the hair, and I also cut off on the bottom probably about maybe two or three inches. So I am liking this length a lot better and I like that the ends are full now, the ends are thick because I did cut those inches off. And yeah guys, so this is how the hair look. I just made some little baby hairs. I did pluck the part just a little bit and I did extend the part as well because the part that came already in the hair was probably maybe two and a half inches. So I just extended it down some. I did put a little bit of powder around the edges and I curled it and that's it. Like. I really like this hair, like the length. It curled really easy. It does not shed. The hair is so soft, so silky. And this is just that type of hair that I'm just gonna run my fingers through literally all day. Like this is just like wifey hair. Like this length and these curls, I always call this wifey hair. Oh, and I just, <laughs> I love it. I love it, y'all. Mm. Okay, Gina, keep your hands out your hair because your curls gonna fall, your curls gonna fall. Definitely check out the description box down below if you are interested in this unit or if you're interested in any of the hair from Wigs Gals. So yeah, guys, I'll probably keep this in probably, I don't know, maybe for like the next two or three days. Cute, easy. I'm sure this is gonna hold up to where, wherever I go, I don't even need to really do anything to it, so. Let me back up so you guys can see the length. Okay, this is the length that I cut it to. And I don't remember what length it originally was. Like I said, I cut about two or three inches off. Check the description box so you can get all the details of this unit. And guys, let me know what you think about this hair down below. I always talk back and comment back to you guys. And I just love you guys so, so much. All right, now if you're ready, stay tuned for the vlog.
I've had the unit in for about three days now. Everything still looks good. I probably just need to tack it down just a little bit with a little bit more spray. But other than that, it, and look, it is still holding a little curl to it. So very, very impressed. And this is literally the hair after I'm just waking up on it. So I'm impressed, guys. my very first physical therapy appointment and y'all look I have on my hat wig she's giving very thin <laughs> but still cute and convenient I will say that but um headed to my first physical therapy appointment Ooh, let me take my pill I have Tylenol 3s that they prescribed to me I was taking Tramadol at first I ran out of the Tramadol now I'm taking Tylenol 3s the Tramadols really, really work. These Tylenol 3s really ain't nothing. So I'm thinking Tramadol must be strong. I need to look at the uh, different milligrams. But uh, I'm going to take this right now because my appointment is in about 10 minutes. All right. Hopefully that will kick in in the next maybe like 15, 15, 20 minutes. I don't even know what they gonna even have me doing today. I haven't had to do physical therapy in, ooh, about 15 years, 14, 15 years. It's been a really long time, but I just remember physical therapy being like a bitch. <laughs> but it's my first day, so I don't know how hard they're gonna push me. We'll see. But he wants me to do it one to two days a week since I'm off work. I'm uh, probably book for two days a week so don't fall don't fall Ooh, shoot. then I have another appointment with my um, plastic surgeon later today well he does my filler so I got the bridge of my nose done um, about like six weeks ago I want to say maybe and so I'm coming in for another session because he was like you can do two sessions um, you can do a session a month apart it was like the second session builds it up to usually where people like it and then after that you get it redone like once every eight months to a year he says some people's results last two years it just really depends on how fast your body metabolizes it he said but usually they last like a year so I'm gonna do my nose. I might do my lips. I don't know. It's been it's been a few months that I since I did my lips. So I don't know. I gotta think about that one. If I even wanna go through that pain and that swelling and uh, not being able to really eat and chew and drink for like a day and a half, two days. So well, let me go because I'm about to. Ooh. I'm about to pull up at my doctor's office real quick. I'm pulling up at the physical therapy place. Just finished physical therapy. I thought it was gonna be more intense and maybe not because it was my very first day. They did an assessment. So I was there for an hour. So the first 20 minutes was like her doing an assessment, asking me like how my problem started, my pain level, can I do this, can I do that, X, Y, and Z. So that was like the first 20 minutes. Then she was doing all kind of uh, stretches for me to strengthen my hamstrings and my quads. I'm thinking it's gonna be just to like push and pull my knee. That's what I thought in my head, but she was like, no, those are the muscles you need. For like walking up and down the stairs to sit to stand and she said we got to strengthen those up since now your knee is a little bit weaker and it'll also help with your range of motion in your knee so when i first got in like she measured that knee and then at the very end after doing my stretches she measured again and so my range of motion did improve so she was like i'm at a preferred for me to have a meniscus tear 
she was like that uh, my range of motion is actually better than most people's so so I'm very hopeful that everything will progressively go back to 100% or close to 100% you know I'm claiming that I'm gonna be good so they have they're gonna actually let me do this now I need to buy this strap off Amazon so I can do my exercises at home three times a day so it's just like this belt kind of thing that you used to pull I could probably just use like a belt out of my closet with all honesty but it's only eight dollars this thing that they're having me buy um and then so I'm gonna be going to physical therapy twice a week Mondays and Fridays and yeah I just need to be on it to do my exercises at home myself three times a day that's about it so I'm headed home now I am so hungry I don't know if I need to stop and get something to eat or just save my my little money eat at home that's really what I need to do I had avocado toast yesterday it was really good I think I kind of want that again today I have an avocado that needs to be eaten because I bought it three days ago four days today's Friday I think I bought it Monday so yeah that needs to be eaten About it. I need to take a picture for Fashion Nova. I need to take a picture for Rib Dolls. Really, I need to do the picture for Rib Dolls before anything because that picture is due tomorrow. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Nothing here to talk about, so I'll be back. Friday. Friday. Now, I ain't got anything to do today. I ain't got nothing to do today, but this is what I'm wearing. Just a little Fashion Nova little lounge set. This is the wig I got on. Don't know who it's by, where it's from. I don't remember, but this is what I'm throwing on. So, yeah, this, this is my little outfit. I had physical therapy earlier today. I thought this was like perfect for physical therapy, but they were like, no, you need something looser. And I'm just like, what's looser than like super stretchy leggings and stuff, but what do I know? So, anyway, I'm about to glow up, glow up. I'm about to do this glow up, baby. I got an appointment in 20 minutes. My plastic surgeon, I'm about to get some filler. Y'all know how to do. Do y'all even want to watch that? Do y'all want to see that? Anyway, I'm about to put me on some Prada candy. This is all about a bougie, bougie glow up bougie elevation so put on my Prada let me get my bag this bag ain't bougie well it might be bougie to some people but it's like a starter that's the starter Louis girl I still have not used my new camera yet had it for almost two weeks but I need to get it together need to get it together Grab me a bottle of water and hop in the car. So late. They're like 30 minutes away and it's already almost 2.15. Oh, I got a package on my doorstep. I think that's the perfume I ordered from um, Off Sax when they had that huge friends and family sale. I know I had mentioned it in another video. I think the, maybe my last vlog or the vlog before. Anyway, Off Sax Fifth Avenue had a huge friends and family additional 25% off sale. And y'all know they already are cheap. So like their perfume, they have all the name brand perfumes. Like when I was checking the prices at like Sephora.com and like Macy's and stuff, the perfumes that they have just normally on sale at Off Fifth are still regular price at the normal department stores. So I got some Tom Ford. I got um, a Prada perfume set that came with the, um, the three ounce bottle, the roller ball, and the, um, I think it's body lotion or shower gel. That one was on sale, not on sale, let me say, it's it's on Off Sacks 
for ninety dollars but when i checked the uh you know regular websites it was like a hundred and forty i want to say and then so it was an additional 25 percent off of that and then i got tom ford also the 1.7 so off sax had it for eighty dollars but then an additional 20 percent 25 percent off of that so i got both of those for like sixty dollars 59.99 plus tax so basically so if y'all aren't signed up for off sex like their mailing thing y'all need to sign up for that because they'll send you an email it's it, there's that sale happens maybe like two or three times a year so it's really good oh and i got me helmet and lang t-shirt um normally like 220 dollars i got it for like 70 dollars i got some mac makeup normally like $30 I got for like $12 so off sax boo I think it's called sax off sax fit I think that's what it's called but anyway their website is called like off fit anyway alright I'm late I'm rushing I'm rambling so I will catch y'all <laughs> I'm gonna pick the camera back up once I get to my first appointment all right, just got to my doctor's office. Y'all already have been here with me so many times. He's the one who did my tummy tuck. He does all my fillers. He does my sister's fillers. Let me see if I can show you guys. That's the side of the building. You can't really see very well, but um, he does my friend, my best friend, her fillers. He has done breast work on my friends. A few of my friends did my sister's arm lift. Like, he just... I use them for everything. <laughs> Not use them for everything because of course I've been other places to get work done. But um, you know, he's he's just really good. His staff is really good. I trust him. Prices are good. And yeah, so if you guys are in the Houston area or surrounding area, he's really good at plastic surgery work, breast, arm lift, tummy tuck, light bulb, all that. Um, and fillers if you're interested in fillers. But I don't think I'm gonna take y'all inside. If I do, I might do like a quick clip. Y'all have seen me get fillers plenty of times before. I am not new to this, I'm true to this. <laughs> so probably not gonna just bring y'all in like that. So yeah. Lips loading. Mm -hmm. Ooh, waist on snatch. Yeah. <laughs> I told y'all this is the doctor who did my tummy tuck. 6,000. He's in the United States, in Houston. on my phone but just got my nose bridge done lips and then I had creases like here here and he did a little bit in my um lap line so my lips will be better tomorrow no in like two days they'll look better I'm done oh I do not want to walk down these stairs but I have to start training my knee. So I'm gonna do it. Oh man, there's one thing. I don't wanna baby my knee. Oh, it's so easy to, to baby your knee and just take the elevator. But I need to get myself up out of that. But let me show y'all. You getting a light. Oh shit. I can't even see. <laughs> Anyways, of course, I'm swollen right now. Tomorrow, I'll be a little bit more swollen, bruised. And then by day two or three, it'll start calming down. But 
Y'all know this already. I've been through this a bunch of times with y'all. And I got a teeth whitening kit. Like a good heavy duty, like they gave me the big, big teeth whitening kit. And this is the name of the place. So they said it actually, um, they use them. They said that it works really, really good. So I'll be using that probably starting tonight. I'm trying to think, do I want to run to the mall since I'm right here by the Galleria? Oh, I hate when my car does that. Y'all, I went back to DD's today. I didn't bring y'all in DD's because y'all see DD's all the time. I go there all the time. I know I just ain't got to show y'all every time. But I bought a bunch more stuff. Y'all, look at this. $5.99 for a whole workout set. And it fits so good. It's a one size fits all. Y'all, oh my God, and it's not see-through? What? I'm not aware this is like streetwear with like a little black denim jacket. Y'all, do not sleep on DDs. Like $5.99 and that's not a sale. That's their regular price. All right, this is the next one. This one was $8.99, cute. I'm not really a fan of red. Y'all really never see me in red. But it has a hood. Oh, you can see. Zips up right here. Fits really good. Except this part across the breast is so tight. Like it doesn't stretch like the rest of the the um outfit. And then I ripped it. So I'm taking this one back. Uh I might get it in a large. It's this is a medium. But I'm thinking it would probably happen in the large also. So Oh, and the zipper is ripping. Like, y'all see that hole right there? The zip. No, I'm taking this back. I'm getting my $9 back. Forget that. And I'm not too fond of red. But this is, I mean, this is cute. This is a cute little, can you imagine this with like some white Air Force Ones? Oh, well. Hello. Y'all, these leggings, I don't even think y'all can see because they're so black. These leggings, $4.99. I want to, oh, let me turn this off. Oh my God. $4.99. I want to say these are the best leggings I've ever had. Oh my God. Oh my God. And they're so stretchy. Oh, I need to go back tomorrow and buy every pair. Oh man. And they have this, the waistband. $4.99. DDs. This little set was $8, y'all. I'm not going to wear it as a workout set. I'm going to wear it as athleisure, active wear, <laughs> with a denim jacket and some sneakers. This is how I will be rocking it. But real cute, textured. The leggings come all the way down. So, yep. And I got this in a medium. Just for size reference, if y'all do go get it. All right, this was an $8 outfit. It's an army green color. Uh, only thing I really didn't like about it too much, it's just so high-waisted. Like, I wish it was about here, you know? But I mean, it's just so high-waisted. I mean, it's not bad though. I guess it's really not showing that much skin, but $8 and this does zip up. I think it's cute. And then I have it on with like my little brown Slippers. Let me show y'all in the full in the full mirror. May I help you? Oh, you smell good. I smell you all the way from here. So this is how it looks with my little brown slides. I look slim, slim, but I guess I'll keep it. It'll look good with like my um my Louis Vuitton stuff, I guess. Jacket. This is from Dee Dee's too, y'all. Come here, Ethan. I know he just got the shower, so members only jacket. Eleven dollars. Look at this. She about to be fresh when uh school start back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and got him some t-shirts. Little t-shirt that was five dollars. Another little t-shirt. This was uh three dollars, three ninety nine. Barely, barely. Adidas T. So not only do they got stuff for us, but they got stuff for the kids too. So 
So yeah, it's 11 o'clock at night and I'm just making dinner. I'm making tacos for the kiddos. It, let me get my tomato, my tomato. So yeah, I'm making tacos for the kids. And I'm gonna unbox this perfume with y'all. Remember I told y'all that off um, Saks Fifth had that huge sale. So I believe this is my product. Yep, it is. It's La Femme Prada. So I got the big bottle. It's the 3.4 ounce. Then there's the body lotion and the roller ball. Y'all, this set originally cost like 120 some dollars. Like I said, I wound up getting it for $60 from that Saks Fifth Avenue outlet sale. So let's see how it smells. Price don't mean nothing if it don't smell good. Mm. Oh my God, y'all. <gasps> oh my gosh. Y'all, it smells so good. Wow, I was not expecting that. Prada La Femme. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Ooh. My face still hurts. Ugh. Still so sore and swollen. But y'all, check the Saks Fifth Avenue off Fifth website. Because even for the $80, this is worth it to get a big bottle, the lotion, and the roller ball. Because usually the big bottle of perfume by itself is usually like $100. Roller balls are like $35. So this is a good deal for this set, even without the sale. That's a made like that. I ain't even guessing, y'all, because this ain't sponsored by Prada. That is amazing. This, this right here is good. All right, so this is the Tom Ford that I had got um, the same day as I purchased this. This just came in a day early, but this, the Tom Ford is unisex, so it's more of like a masculine smell, but it's like a boss, like, to me, this is like boss bitch, like, I don't know why I won't focus. To me, it's like, for when a woman wears it, this is like, boss bitch smell like bossy she got money like seriously she's on her shit like this is what because it's so masculine but like i said it is unisex it is unisex so this right here is definitely a good buy something very different this oh it smells so girly so feminine like this is an everyday perfume this everyday perfume and like I said, this one is when you wearing your heels, you got your diamonds on, you got your bag on. That's what that's what I imagine for this one. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. I'm headed to get my lashes done, nails done. The glow up continues. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't get my toes done because y'all already know I have a toenail infection, which I noticed this morning. I'm like, it's actually starting to look better. Today is the first day of progress that I've seen. I've been on antibiotics for seven, eight, nine, ten days, I believe. I believe this is day ten, but day three of my new stronger medicine. And today is the first day that I actually was like, hmm, the little black area looks slightly lighter slightly so anyway um so yeah i'm gonna get my nails done i'm going to a brand new nail salon um 
which is sad, but it's it's time. I've been going to that same nail salon where my doctor believes I got my toenail fungus from. I've been going to them for nearly 20 years. It might it might have been 20 years. Um, they're a little distance from where I live now. They're like a hood salon, nail salon. And I'm just like, I. I'm at a different place in my life. I make more money. Like, I should be able to treat myself to a nice nail salon. It's no reason why I'm driving far to get my nails done at somewhere that's of that caliber. Even though they do good nails, I've been loyal to them. Getting my eyebrows done, lashes done there, everything done there. But it's it's time. It's time that I um, just level on up. So... I'll be trying a new nail salon today, closer to my house. And yeah, I'm at my lash appointment. I'm 10 minutes late, so I'm about to go ahead and walk up in here. Let me show y'all how they look before. My lips and nose are swollen, of course, because y'all know yesterday I just got them filled. But this is before. And then once I'm done, I'll show y'all after. Just got the lashes done. Can y'all see? I only did top this time. I don't know what I'm going to do about the bottom just because every time I blink with the bottom, they get stuck inside the top lashes. So, I mean, they look good, but I really hate that. So, I mean, I still have some bottom ones left. So, when I get these top ones refilled in two weeks, I'll make a decision about the bottom. But, mm -hmm. I'm just noticing like I'm really bruised. Like, I'm real, y'all see that? I'm really bruised. Ooh. Oh, and I didn't show y'all my outfit for today. These leggings I got from Dee Dee's. They're like a mixture of like neutrals, like tan, dark tan. Uh, there's a little bit of blue in here. And then I got this little shirt for 50 cents from Forever 21, 50 cents. And it goes pretty good. They're both like, these are ribbed, this is ribbed. And then this crop jacket is from Forever 21 also, so. You know, I always gotta show y'all my outfit. Let me go pay, cause they're waiting for me. <laughs> y'all, I love my lash place. First of all, first of all, they fancy. <laughs> when you've been getting your lashes done at, an, at like a ghetto nail salon, and then you come to like a real nail salon, it's kinda like, <laughs> Okay, they, this is nice. They have like a whole Keurig like um, for tea and coffee station set up. They have a um, snack station with like granola bars and crackers and stuff. They have a mini fridge with sodas and waters. They have a huge candy jar with good candy. Let me show y'all. Good candy. <laughs> um, so it's just really nice. Just the, the way the bathroom is, all of the lotions and the uh, body spray that they have in the bathroom is all name brand. Um, it just, and it just smells so good. It's so nice, it's so clean. It's just, they're so sweet. Um, they all speak perfect English, which I mean, I hope that don't sound bad, but that's a plus when everybody speaks perfect English. They understand exactly what you want. See, it's getting caught up in these bottom lashes and I didn't even get, oh man. See, that's the top lash that came out, was just pulled out because it was stuck in the bottom lash. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get, I'm probably not gonna get bottom lashes no more. Okay, so that doesn't wanna come out. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just, I, I just really, really like them. And they gave me a free gift. Aw, that's cute. So the free gift is a, um, a spoolie, and it's like crystallized. It has like blue glitter. Oh, that's cute, and some hand sanitizer. That is so cute, y'all. My other place would never, never. But um, I'm in front of Smoothie King now. I'm about to get me a smoothie. And then I'm just gonna go to the nail salon that's literally right next door to the um, lash salon. 
hopefully they're good um and i asked the people inside the lash salon they were like yeah they're really good they're really nice and she named somebody for me to go to so i'm like okay cool so if any of you guys live in houston and you're close to like the sugarland area and you want to know who my lash people are and you want to go to a really nice lash spot then um y'all come to lady lash studio lady lash studio really really good for the lashes that i have a full set of the mink this is a full set mink lashes hybrid um and you know the hybrid are the mixed uh lengths and they're really fluffy i will never go back to those plastic um individual lashes these mink lashes you're gonna pay extra money it is worth it but um, like I said, it's $100, and then for a refill, I think was $60. Yes, I'm eating my other piece of candy, don't judge. <laughs> but um, I think it was $60 for the um, refill. So, mm. Mm, mm, mm. And you come 10 times, you get a free visit. I just had to throw that in there. So I come 10 times and I get to save $60 or $100 or whatever it is. That's amazing. All right, got my smoothie. I haven't even tasted it yet. I got a coffee smoothie. It's okay. I usually don't look. Oh. Sometimes I don't look at um, what's in the smoothie. Well, I do. I do look at it, but I, I, I'd be more concerned about like the calories and the sugar. So this one's only like 280 calories. Dang, why am I so greasy? Goodness. This one's only 280 calories, so that's why I got it. But um, I keep this in my car, which is the Smoothie King menu, and it's broke. It, bleh, bleh, I can't tell. Why am I so dark? Okay. And it breaks down all of the um, calories, sugar, carbs, everything in here. So I always take a look at that. I pretty much know like what's low sugar, low carb, and low calories and stuff. So because I, I literally always look at it. So yeah, get y'all one of those if you care. Mm. My lips are still so sore. And your lips get so dry after you get them done. At least they do for me. I've been getting my lips done for almost three years now. And I always have to keep lip gloss, Carmex, in my purse, by the side of my bed, in my car, just because my lips get really dry now. Ooh. All right. I should have charged my phone up, but I was a bad girl and didn't, Lord. Hopefully it'll take me through getting everything done here at the nail salon. I need the works, baby. Lip wax, eyebrows wax, nails. Ooh. I hope y'all please pray for me that they're good. Hello. Hello. Hello, I'm gonna help you. Do you guys do eyebrows? I need eyebrows, lip, and refill. You can. Oh, thank you. Yeah, eyebrow, lip, and then. No, it's a wig. Wig. Yeah. <laughs> and refill. And refill. Mm -hmm. Because it means you don't just help protect yourself. You fight for the safety of the ones you love. It proves who you can matter most. Claim a close most insurance today at Walgreens and get a $5 coupon off same day purchases at 20.
refreshing deliciousness specially formulated to keep your eye on the ball and mouth-watering fizziness to help you power through game day. Pepsi has everything you need. Okay, just finished at the nail shop. So the verdict, the verdict. <laughs> um, eyebrows look really good, but they're thinner than what I wanted. I like thick eyebrows. I told her leave them thick and this is what she did. I mean, the shape is great. They're just a little bit thinner than I like. Not that bad. Um, got my lip waxed and y'all it didn't hurt like I'm used to them putting that hot wax on me and ripping it off being like real rough she was so gentle it was like wow are you even doing anything so that was definitely like a plus my nails um can y'all see okay the Sun is not letting me be great I know it's still probably kind of hard to see but anyway i just got um oh see this is why you should not vlog and drive people do not do this but i got french tips and then i got a louis vuitton little sticker on that nail so they look good um like i said it was a refill and the initial set was done at my uh old place so they were having trouble finding matching powder so it's not 100% perfect, but it looks good. Um, she was trying different powders, but then she wound up having to use a gel instead, and the gel was the closest thing to what I have. I really probably should have just got them taken off and gotten a full set. That I wasn't thinking, I wasn't paying attention. I'm on the phone the whole time and not really paying attention. So I really should have just had her soak them off and do a full set, but they still look good. There you go, you can kind of see them now. Still look good something different um price wise pricing um okay so i got wax wax and then nails and i paid ooh, what was my total 54 because <laughs> i gave a six dollar tip and i made it 60 yeah so it's 54 dollars for this at my old place would have been maybe 40 40 or 45 dollars so they're about $10 more expensive, give or take. Um, and my gas driving over to my old place, that's about right. That's It's about equals out the same. And the place is a lot nicer. Um, they don't really speak good English there. There was a young guy who looked to be maybe late teens, early 20s. Uh, he was kind of the one doing most of the talking for the older ladies. Um, but I mean, it matters not. Even though they don't speak good English, they still did a great job. Great customer service, very nice. Place was clean, smelled good, and I was not rushed. My skin wasn't cut up like I've experienced at my old place, so I'm pleased. And they're right by my house, literally a three minute drive, like one light away. So I think I will continue to go to them. And then it's just convenient. It's literally right next door to my new lash place. So, so. I'm satisfied. I think this literally completes my glow up. I think that's what I'm going to name the video, like my glow up, my transformation, getting pampered. But um, tomorrow I'm getting a massage and a facial, maybe just a massage, possibly a cellulite treatment. So I will probably bring you guys along with me for that as well. So yeah. Right now, I'm about to go to another Dee Dee's. Y'all, I am Dee Dee's obsessed. Do y'all hear me? Usually when I get obsessed with Dee Dee's, I'll go to like, cause there's five Dee Dee's within like a 10 mile span from where I live. Um, so usually I'll go to like all the Dee Dee's within one week and then I won't go to Dee Dee's for like about a month and then I'll go to all the Dee Dee's again in one week. So I just have like my spurts. Um, of going to Dee Dee's. I love, I love it. Love, love, love Dee Dee's. They have everything, stuff for your home, clothes, shoes, kids stuff, just crazy little things you wouldn't even think of. They have 
boxes of cereal in Dee Dee's. Literally, I seen bo boxes of Frosted Flakes and shredded weed and Lucky Charms for a dollar ninety nine. I'm like, wow, this is crazy. <laughs> Dee Dee's has everything they slipped on and from what I was reading in my comments that you guys had told me like on my last video that Dee Dee's is not like everywhere so that kind of sucks and we have so many like so many in Houston but um a lot of people were telling me like they're not in there it's not in their city so and Dee Dee's is the sister store of Ross y'all know how like Marshall's TJ Maxx and Home Goods are all sister stores Dee Dee's and Ross are sister stores so so yeah, so I'm about to go in here and I also have a return from uh, from yesterday. You know, y'all can't try nothing on in the dressing room so you gotta wait till you get home to try stuff on which is so dumb. I don't see how that prevents, co how that like slows down COVID but whatever. So it's just inconvenient. All right, my phone ringing. Let me take this call. I remember and I was mad. All right y'all, so y'all spent the entire yesterday today y'all spent some days with your girl now it is wash day i'm about to wash baby girl's hair uh oh <laughs> well, i'm about to go ahead and end the vlog here all right guys make sure you stay tuned for my next video it will probably be a try on haul probably because i'm about to pick those back up all right until next time bye, bye. Guess who's back? <laughs> y'all thought the vlog ended? I lied, I joked. I forgot, I told y'all that y'all coming with me to this like spa type grand opening thing. I'm really not sure what it is exactly. I'm just going to support uh, an acquaintance of mine and you know, so that's just that. And I, I wanna support black business. So that's the plan for today. Let me show y'all the outfit. Y'all know how I do. Outfit courtesy of Dee Dee's discount, but I do have a cropped black denim jacket. I don't know where this came from. My homegirl had bought this for me. Black slides, LV fanny, got my smoothie. And yeah, I y'all, let me tell y'all something disgusting. Let me tell y'all something disgusting. It's funny and it's disgusting at the same time. Don't judge. I like how y'all, y'all, y'all love me for me. Y'all love me for being real. Y'all, why I sprayed this hair with water, I was like, let me go ahead and just tame this hair because usually I just just wear just how it is, dry and everything. But I was like, let me put some oil, some water, mousse in this hair just so it can look good. Why well, I started spraying this hair with water and finger combing it, why did it smell like the best seasoned fried chicken like ever? I'm like, I haven't made fried chicken like literally in years, cause I don't fry anything. I'm like in years, why does my hair smell like fried chicken and like good smelling fried chicken? So anyway, yeah, that's disgusting. So I need to wash this wig when I get home. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was uh, what just happened to me a few minutes ago. I am, am I missing anything? Y'all, I'm trying this company out. Yes, they are sponsoring a video for me but i am trying this company out i'm trying them out for one week straight their cellulite uh product so i used it last night this morning i'm gonna use it twice a day so my body is my body is greasy greasy like can y'all tell yeah so i i do use products y'all before i just bring them to y'all so just fyi letting you know but i am like so greasy I guess it's good because it's like moisturizing. It's like a boob serum, like a lifting serum for your boobs, a lifting serum and cream for your butt, and then cellulite for the uh, cream for the back of your thighs. So then they have like body wash and, and stuff. So I haven't used that. But all the cellulite stuff, I will be using it twice a day, every day for a week. So y'all yeah, be looking out for that review. It'll be coming sometime in the next two weeks. But okay, let me get in this car. I wish I had some alcohol. That looks yummy. This is a cute little setup. That looks delicious. Oh, that looks so good. So the chicken is in the oven. Is this one of those, Beyonce? I got your nails. Don't get them. There she go. I ain't gonna get your face, so they ain't gonna know who you are. <laughs> this is a meat. Oh, I know this. Uh, you be dropping up in the middle. Yes, it's got nothing in there. Just throw it down. Yes, they drop it. I don't think they're gonna do it. That's their drop it. You ain't gonna be able to, I mean, you'll be able to see, right? You ain't gonna block it off. That's good. It's gonna block me. It's flipping. And that was the name of his university. This is the guy that was around 2,000 years before Apocalypse. 
Mm. So he treated over 200 conditions with oil, plants. All he did was extract the oils out the plants and treated everything on earth. All Western world did was take all of that, put it in the lab, copy the molecular structure of it, and gave it to you in pill form. Mm. I was just informed by a lady in the park not too long ago that was on everything that we were talking about, mm. and Chad Herman. Mm. And they opened up a lady, and she had 135 undissolved calcium tablets. Wow. So these uh -huh. supplements we take, if they're not in powder or herb form, it, it does nothing for our body wow. essentially. The weight loss package, there's also a nutritional guide. So what I do is, in the overprescribing of medication, you can go in there and you can have jitteries or memory loss and they'll try to give you something for that. Instead, what I figured out is a lot of people suffer from vitamin deficiencies. Mm -hmm. So when you figure out the person is deficient in whatever vitamins they're deficient in, you just call that patient for this, you're taking it for the side effect of that. So what I do, what I learned is when I was doing um, home health, I went into the Kenny Home Project. I had a guy I was seeing, the CNA that was there said I was, his nurse came every week and she's like, she never did this. I went through his whole bag. He had medications in generic form and then the, the regular form. I had a guy a couple days ago, the nurse practitioner. He strongly felt prescribing medication for diabetic people and that numbers weren't even diabetic. His logical mm -hmm. was they're not going to eat right and do right, so I'm going to over prescribe you for this medication so it, we can cut it off before it gets here. Mm -hmm. That's not the way you do it. This man was shoving jack in the box down his throat as he was educating me on diabetes and cholesterol. Wow. wow. Mm -hmm. So the first packet I want you guys to look at is we're going to go over briefly is essential oil. Now, when you eat your fruits and vegetables and working out, you can better absorb the foods that you're taking or the supplements that you're taking so you can get the greater effect of whatever it is you're taking to help boost your stuff. And you, I'm gonna pass these around you can take a look. The only difference is they go up by um, this is weight loss, it'll give you the do's and don'ts. This is a, the nutritional guide, so it'll give you different things about food. And this is all free. Right, so just kind of take a look and pass those. Around. The sauna blanket service. So, if you purchase any of these packages, you get the planner, you get the intestinal plunger. And you get one of the body contouring services, which is the um, sauna blanket. So, and so the next morning, I was, I was like, wait a minute, oh, my stomach. <laughs> and so I was like, I called her and I said, gee, I said, my stomach has, I've lost some inches just overnight. You know, cause she was like, go home, drink, drink plenty of water, this and that. So I was like, okay, I'm ready for my second session. So it really does work. And I, I'm I'm just doing it for health purposes. I'm not doing it to get no snatch waist or nothing like right. that. Hopefully that will be come, a, come a side, with effect. It, a side uh -huh. effect of it. But I'm just really doing it for health wise. Oh, mm -hmm. And which treatment are, did you receive? Well, I did both the She, she did the, uh, the bundle uh, packet yes. with the sauna blanket. So I'm gonna explain those things. Okay. And then the earache ease. You hear her and you just rub it under the ear, above the ear, and behind the ear. I like it for kids because the first thing the doctor try to give you is amoxicillin, even mm -hmm. unnecessary. And then a lot of us too go in these doctor's offices. I had to argue with my own women like, it's red, but you don't need an antibiotic. Oh, I want an antibiotic. No, ma'am. I'm not giving you one. You about to overprescribe your kid for no reason. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we wonder when they, oh, I need a difluke until I get a yeast infection. Well, I was doing some reading. Penicillin is derived from yeast. Got it. Now, why mm -hmm. do we all get yeast infections mm -hmm. when we take it? And it is, we're about to be resistant to it anyway, but that earache ease is real good for ear infections. Kids, I recommend three years and up. And also, all of these products, because they are topical, you always take a skin patch test. Take a little drop, drop it on you somewhere, and watch it for 24 hours. Because you don't know you have an allergy to you have an allergy. This is Vanna from the future. I just had to pop in while I'm editing this video and just put this in real quick. Um, on this portion, I'm showing you the wellness on wheels to you, um, how they're not just a spa based um, company. She really, really um, emphasizes on natural wellness, natural healing, like natural beauty, like everything natural. So she does sell a lot of essential oils that she makes herself. She extracts them from the plants. She mixes, makes some bottles. She does everything herself. And I have not used, we, everybody that was there, they got the arthritis one. And I think almost everybody got the um, intestinal one also. She has about 10 different ones. But um, tonight I went to a boot camp class. My best friend, she does a boot camp class. She bought the arthritis drops and 
Of course, I couldn't do the boot camp class because I just had knee surgery 10 days ago, but she gave those um, arthritis drops to, um, she put them on herself and two other ladies in the boot camp class. And they were like, oh, we could not have got through the boot camp if we didn't have our have that oil on our knees. So they say that it really, really, really works. So I'm going to try mine tonight. And in my next vlog, I will let you guys know how it worked for me. But those three people saying that it is instant, it instantly works. If you are having any type of joint pain, and uh, she said it's even good for like swelling on your feet, anything. Y'all look her up and get the oil and it's only $11. So, I mean, $11. Just now leaving the spa. So it it's a mobile spa grand opening. So like today was like her introduction into the business. So it was really nice, super cute. The way she had it set up, the food, her presentation. She had everything set to a T. I like that. You are starting a business and you put dedication into how your products look and how you present things and you know it's it, it's just all about the look and she had that done to the t so that was really really nice i bought a few products i'm gonna book for one of her uh wood therapy sessions to get this day a lot on the back of these thighs straight girl and um yeah it was it was nice it was it was really really nice so now I'm about to, we about to head home. I gotta get the kids stuff together, drop them off with their grandma. It's 6 p.m. on Sunday, so yeah, they gotta go with their grandma. And the grandma and the dad's out, of course. But, um, so yeah, I got my little roll dog. Got my roll dog with me. <laughs> All right, let me focus on this road and I'll be back. They got a Chucky doll just on the back of that car with the knife and everything. Why would they do that? Oh my God. <laughs> the Houston skyline. Keep left to State Highway 288 I-69. That's South a good view of it. Lake Jackson. I love my city, y'all. Look at Sleepyhead. <laughs> Boy, like she worked today. Y'all know this is so random, but I want to give y'all a toe update. <laughs> I want to show y'all what the toe is looking like, the little dark spot. So I'm in the car, so it's going to be a little bit hard, but let me try to show y'all. All right, y'all, this is the toe. Still crusty. Don't mind that. Uh, not as swollen. The skin is not as dark. It's still a little bit puffy, but the black dots have gotten a lot better, and that's what I noticed starting yesterday yesterday i noticed they were a little bit better so it's working slowly but surely i haven't been in any excruciating pain or anything but um so yeah that's just a toenail update listening to some youtube gossip channels <laughs> that's what i'm doing right now at 11 o'clock at night um it was dark let me cut a light on Bam, let that be light. Um, get my laundry out. Y'all, I'm really just about to end the vlog here. Um, y'all done spent a few days with me and I ain't got nothing else to do. Tomorrow is gonna be a boring day. I'm probably not gonna pick up my camera tomorrow or the day after. We'll see how things go. Um, I got some sponsored content to do. So that's probably what I'll be working on for the next few days in editing. So I love you guys. Hope you enjoyed this glow up. And I broke a freaking nail today. Oh my God. So I got to go back to the nail shop tomorrow. <sighs> anyway, I'm about to go guys. Love y'all. Follow me on Instagram at that damn Gina. All right. Bye.